Finally, an AV store built by people more interested in home theater than making money. For audio, video, and everything in between, visit store.audioholics.com. It's been a little while since I did a real over-the-ear headphone review. It's not that I've lost interest in headphones, it's just that I hadn't experienced a set that impressed me enough from the outside so as to draw my attention. The Yamaha Pro 500s grabbed our attention from across the room. They're in a bold design with a folding uh, unibody that is about as far a cry from the well-regarded Yamaha HP One Orthodynamics as you will find. Actually, they more fit in with the European sleek look that dominates recent products from uh, Beats, Fanny Wang, and even Danone. Now, our review sample came in this racing blue, but the phones are also available in a piano black for those of you who are less adventurous. They break that into a pretty uh, compact package, as you can see, all of which fits in this cool case. Now, look, I I'm just going to go th over a few of the basics here because let's face it, the listening tests are what you really care about, and after doing a bunch of reviews, well, I know that that's what really matters. Now, I don't want to gloss over the fit, because we found these phones to be a little bit on the small side as far as the ear cup is concerned. Overall, however, they run a bit large, which is great for my huge melon, but if you give it to a pinhead like Clint over there, oh, I'm sorry, Clint, um, please don't fire me, uh, you're going to get a little sore up on the top with the extra weight that gets supported by a very small area and like I said the cups just don't really cover your ear that well the primary cord is flat and rubberized model it can be plugged into either ear cup so that's pretty handy multimedia cord is also flat and provides the expected three button smartphone compatible controls right there and they have a longer cord in case you don't need that okay as promised the sound now we started with some contemporary tracks in order to see how it did with modern compressed music Perhaps surprisingly, it rendered even busy tracks like Avril Lavigne's Take Me Away bearable and quite listenable. The Pro 500's playback compressed tracks pretty much as flat as they were when they were overmastered, though they did seem to temper the highs, reducing the fatigue you'd normally get from this kind of music. Beautiful Love by the Afters was a much more tame track, but it also brought out the more delicate nature of these headphones, and I really liked how they presented Josh Haven's uh, firm but soft tenor. Now, next we decided to queue up some classic rock, and I couldn't think of anything more classic than Boston. So we brought up the familiar more than a feeling. Then we kicked back to enjoy the wide pan drums and guitar harmonies. Now, with the Pro 500s, hi-hats and cymbals took on a more laid-back sound than I'm used to. It wasn't at all diminishing, more like a different way of voicing the phones. With Saturday in the Park by Chicago, the vocals were clearly forward in the mix, not slightly recessed as they are with our comparison done on AHD 2000s. This did give them additional clarity, but perhaps at the expense of some high-frequency detail. Leave It by Yes demonstrated an uncanny and convincing separation and soundstage that rivaled anything we've heard in over-ear headphones. For comparison, listening to this track on a pair of V-Moda M80s leaves the same song sounding flat with less dynamics. For a bass rich experience, I brought up uh, my tried and true seal tracks, first listening to Crazy and then uh, bringing up Dreaming and Metaphors. Some of the known subsonics lacked just a touch of the extension that I knew was present in the song. Even without this, the bass reached far below what is typical for headphones that are more linear, non-DJ style, and not attempting to artificially inflate bass. In Toto's Hold the Line, Kick drum powered through the track, while the exceptional and highly detailed bass line really brought the song alive. So the question is, where do we end up? Well, the Yamaha Pro 500s are beautifully designed pair of headphones, and they sound great. Now, if you want pristine articulate highs at the expense of bass and mid-range, then these may not be for you. They also aren't for you if you want overbearing bass response. If, however, you want a well-rounded linear set of headphones that are true to the music and perhaps favor the mid-range just a tad bit for clarity and detail, then these are sure to please. At $399, they're priced right for what is really a smooth and articulate headphone. 